it's unlikely that anybody will live forever. And it would take a long time to figure this out. It would take forever, right? But the, 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 uh, the, it's unlikely that anyone would live forever because uh, th th there are always accidents that might kill somebody, even if we could eliminate all disease. And also there is an aging process. As people get older, the, there's cumulative damage to their, our bodies and so mortality tends to go up. So no, I don't think anybody will live forever. The oldest documented lifespan is 122 years, was lived by Madame Jean-Louise Calmont in France. So that's how long humans can live, 122 years. But mortality, death rates are going down, lifespans are going up, so it's likely that in the future people will live, somebody will live longer than 122 years. Life expectancy for humans in the countries that have high life expectancy has been going up by three months per year since 1840. So for the last 170 years, life expectancy has been going up by three months per year. And there's no sign that this progress is slowing down. In fact, there's a little bit of evidence that the progress is speeding up because of biomedical breakthroughs. So that's why I think life expectancy is likely to continue to go up at something like three months per year, maybe a little faster. Life expectancy is increasing for several reasons. One reason is that we're more prosperous, we have a higher standard of living, and as a result we're better educated, we have better homes, we have better diet, uh, we know more about how to take care of ourselves. And the other reason is that there's been biomedical breakthroughs to create new kinds of medicines, and new kinds of surgical procedures, ways of uh, preventing disease, uh, ways of treating disease. So a combination of, of uh, what you might call money and medicine. All animals die eventually. All plants die. Some, some animals live a long time, uh, capable of living a long time. We have some hydra in a laboratory in this building. Uh, I think they're called Süßwasser Pulpe in German or something like that. But it, it, hydra in English. And uh, under very clean laboratory conditions, we estimate that if you had uh, 10,000 hydra, one of them might live four or 5,000 years. That's a long time, but it's not immortal. And the, these hydra, a few of them die every year. We, we, we had this study for six years, and a few of them die every year. So, and all animals and all plants, there's some chance of death, and no animal, no plant will live forever. Some, some trees live thousands of years, but no tree lives a million years. The main reason that organisms age is because damage is accumulated over the course of life. Uh, you get sick. Uh, you get hurt somehow or other, there's radiation, there's pollution, and so on. So damage accumulates, and as damage accumulates, uh, I mean, some of the damage is repaired, but some of the damage is not repaired, so there's accumulation of damage, and this accumulation of damage leads to aging, leads to higher mortality.